Yo, what's going on, guys? And today we're going to be talking about the Dallas Mavericks have no interest in D'Angelo Russell via sign and trade for Kyrie Irving. So let's get right into today's video and talk about it. Guys, I, I've said it before. I really don't see Kyrie leaving Dallas. Why? Because they can pay him the most. They can give him the best contract. Supposedly, he has a handshake deal in place. And no income tax, baby. And it's probably the best situation for him. Besides, obviously, the Lakers. But Lakers wouldn't, wouldn't give him as much money. Now, Mark Stein of the Stein line writes that the Dallas Mavericks intent remains to resign Kyrie Irving in free agency this summer. There has been considerable speculation that Irving could head to Los Angeles or to the Lakers. But that would require the Maverick support to make that happen. Los Angeles is unlikely to be able to create the requisite cap space to sign Irving. That would mean a sign in trade deal would have to be in place to get Irving to the Lakers. And we reported yesterday that they have no plans to assist. Kyrie Irving in a sign and trade facilitation. The Mavericks reportedly now have no interest in acquiring D'Angelo Russell in a dual sign trade deal where Russell would be the primary player headed to Dallas. Now, if it's Anthony Davis, I bet you they'd be a bit different on that stance. But I do think it's interesting. One second. I had to put that game back down. So. It makes it difficult to see how the Lakers are going to be able to match the side or bring in Irving outside of a three-team trade. And that's why I've remained steadfast that it's not going to happen. Because they want to sign him to a deal, three-year plus one. So basically a four-year deal, fourth year being a player option. So they can trade him. Not trade him. So he'd be on the same timeline as Luka Doncic, as well as if they do ever have to blow it up the down the road. He's under contract for an extended period of time. But they're trying to win now, not later. So for me, I don't see Kyrie being traded and D'Angelo Russell makes sense. I mean, D'Lo's got to rebuild his value. He's probably going to get a one plus one deal from the Lakers or another team where it's one year... It's probably like a $30 million deal. First year is, you know, 15. Second year is 15. But the second year is a team or player option. Probably player option. So let me hear your thoughts right down below. What do you guys think of this news that the Mavericks have no interest in D'Angelo Russell?